Well, we are back finally. Look at this. Three months later, got my truck back. Oh my God. Biggest headache of life. Oh, and I just found out that Rockstar sold to Pepsi for $3.8 billion. So, good times. Anyways, this is it. Oh, it's all fixed, as you can see. Still a truck. And guess where I am? At Ford. Trading it in. Get rid of it. I don't want it anymore. Let's see what they got. How does this truck just disappear? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's got to be around here somewhere. I probably sold it. <laughs> if you did. Oh. Is it too early to start making coronavirus jokes? No. <laughs> I better wait. You're dumb. You're we walked cool. right by it. Oh, my alarm is going off. I probably... In my pocket. There we go. Can you guys tell the difference? <laughs> I bought the exact same truck. This one's shinier though. You sure this is it? This looks like whiter. It looks more white. Yeah. Factory ordered. Freshy. It only took two weeks. Go with the old and with the freshy. Don't expect that for everybody. Not everybody takes two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Is it open? VIP. I imagine it looks the exact same on the inside. Huh. Yeah, looks the exact same. Sweet. Cool. So the truck's getting traded tomorrow. I just got back from the collision place and uh, we're changing the MBRP muffler here. Boys, the freshie. Woo! Look at this. Even came with a white claw. All right, let's head over to America, do a run. Quick America tour to pick up some packages and back home. Home sweet home. I totally forgot I was filming a video yesterday. I got busy, I, uh, what did I do? Oh, I went to the States, picked up some stuff. Then I got busy doing other stuff, and then oh, it's just been a hectic week. So much went on. There's a lot of ups and downs, but we're good. I'm not sick, healthy. Um, yeah, I hope everyone out there is super healthy and doing everything they can to stay positive. Anyways, uh, we have Arkansas this week. Um, the event is canceled, but apparently everyone is still going. So I, I believe we're going. I was told to pack. And wherever we end up, we end up. Um, I don't know if they're closing the border yet. It's uh, it's Saturday right now. We leave early Sunday morning. So I was told to pack, get ready, and we'll do a game time decision. But I just wanted to show you guys what I went to the States for. Um, when when we get stuff shipped to Canada, we get screwed on duty and, and stuff. Like I paid up to 40% of the value before like you order a coat, a $100 coat, and you pay you know, 40, 50 bucks for it on top of it so um i a lot of my sponsor stuff even though it's sponsored i still have to pay duty so what i do is i get shipped over uh just over the border it's about an hour away and then uh, i you know declare a lot less and only have to pay a little bit so anyways um steel just uh dropped off or i guess shipped over all this stuff so we got atabolic actually this is my old stuff this is the new shipment that came yesterday atabolic i use this for working out branch chains, vegan branch chains uh, for after. If you have any sleeping issues, this is the stuff to go to. It's uh, rested AF. It um, really calms the mind, shuts you down, which is amazing. I take it before bed every night. Uh, normal branch chains, fruit punch. They have the best flavors too. Um, strawberry, eh, I can't even talk. Strawberry, banana, kiwi, strawberry, fruit punch. And uh, what do we got here? This is some more vegan protein peanut butter. It's pretty good stuff. So this is what's in the what's in there. So also, um, Evil Power Sports. They are a fantastic company to work with. They sent. Um, they actually tuned my Maverick. So I think my Maverick was around 170 horsepower, and they tuned it to 200. Uh, they put. They're putting the launch control on it. I have it. I just haven't installed it. And. Um, what else have they done? 
a lot of stuff. So if you want to check them out, there's a link below. Um, there's lots of links below too. If you guys want to check them out, any companies that I'm sponsored by, uh, there's lots of discount codes there below. So, you know, they support me, so I got to support them as well. So this is the Evil Power Sports Shocker Pipe. So as you can see, cat delete, and then uh, the normal muffler goes out. Well, I guess it would be this way. I don't know. So it just attaches to the slip on there. And then it has a valve right here. So if I want to go full straight pipe, I can flick of a switch in the cab, boom. So instead of coming out the, the uh, slip on, it comes straight out and it's very super loud. So yeah, I'm excited to get that thing on. It's going to be next level loud. I mean, I'm not going to run it full time, but you know, a little drag racer, I want to piss off the neighbors, flick of a switch. So um, yeah, I guess, what was it? What was this video about? I guess, oh yeah, I got the new truck. So uh, I just got a bit more work to do and then we'll go for a little rep in the new truck. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm excited for this week. It's gonna be fun and uh, wherever we end up. So I actually got two pipes, one for me and one for Nick. Nick's X3, so there's the other one. So if you have an X3, highly recommend if you wanna piss off the neighbors. So evil power sports. Look at this thing, whew, it's a little fresh out today. So this thing sold, getting rid of it. It was a farm truck and uh, obviously we don't need it anymore. So yeah, that's what I've been driving around recently because I didn't want to pay for my rental anymore while the other truck was in the shop. But now I have this brand new, that's amazing. Um, not many big differences. Actually, I only noticed one, well two, so um obviously i got a new tonneau cover i used to just switch them over so my last one went between two trucks and i don't know if it got waterlogged or what but it was freaking heavy and i noticed this one is super light um i like the ford ones it does seal nice between there the only thing i don't like is when you open it you have to lift this back up or else this gets folded over or pushes it forward so i saw in brad's truck it's similar, but it doesn't have this. It has the weather stripping underneath, so you can slam this shut, and it still seals and everything. So, um, yeah, my last one had drains on it. I don't know if this one does, but well, I guess I gotta put her up. Yep. So, fresh box, just how we like it. Shut that. Um, same tires, the old hand kooks. Everything's pretty fresh under there. I don't have the MBRP plate. Yeah, the MBRP plate on it. But uh, yeah, open, steps work. I, ha I just took the old mats out of my truck and swapped them out because they come with carpet mats. So, oh, she smells good, boys. Whew. So nice. So it has uh, massaging seats. You just press that button. You got a nice little butt massage. Oh, apparently you can't pop the hood because the thing will shut off. It's probably, probably think someone's robbing it or something. Yes, there we go. That's what she looks like underneath. I went with the 3.5 EcoBoost again because this is an incredible engine. Super fast, pulls nice, good on fuel. Um, and yeah, I just like it a lot better than the V8. Obviously, it doesn't sound like a V8, but it's 2020. Who cares? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, apparently, I crushed a huge bug last night. <sighs> All right. I always go with the trailer tow mirrors because they're huge and you know with trucks you have a lot of blind spots so they come with that and uh, yeah you can see definitely a lot more. Um, what else does it have? You can lock it. We'll just put your hand there and then obviously unlock it by putting your hand underneath. Um, yeah I usually just get the platinums. There is a limited too. I don't know what the difference is. Maybe a few more options, but I like this one. It's got the 360 cams. So there's a camera on the front and this little thing pops out and washes it. Now there's cameras under the the um, mirrors right here. And lights. Whew. All right, jump in here. I haven't even done anything yet. Just cleaned it all out, cleaned the old truck out and haven't even thrown everything in here yet. Um, yeah, fired up. Let's just push button start. Um, sounds nice. 
I changed the gauges. You can put the turbo there now. I don't think you can put it on the last truck. So, and they have the new um, sink. So, I don't know much of a difference. It looks different. Uh, I just have it on night mode because the day mode's too bright. There we go. Um, yeah. I don't know much of a difference. Um, yeah. I still think the steering wheel heat should have like a button up here though. Like most other vehicles, uh, you have to go in here, either go to home and click there. I don't know why it's there. Or you go into climate and click. Oh, they changed it. So maybe now it's just home. Before you had to go to climate and it was in here, but now, now it's, I guess it's just on home. You're a strange animal. <sighs> what else does this thing have? Uh, four wheel automatic. I think my last truck had that, pretty sure. I used to just throw it straight and high and never play with auto. Um, these are actually motion sensors. People always thought they were lights or speakers, but they're motion sensors. So if you leave your window open a little bit and someone reaches inside and it's locked, the alarm will go off. So uh, I used to get sunroofs. I don't anymore. I didn't get one on my last truck either. Uh, I'm just not a huge fan of sunroofs. I don't know why. I don't know. Like I've had tons of cars and rentals and I always just leave it shut. I don't like it. I just think it's too friggin' bright. Maybe because I'm a ginger and I burn easy. So, and you get a lot more headroom without a stutter of so oh there's a dog hair or some some sort of hair um what else what else these trailer tow mirrors are my favorite so you just press that button you can bring them in bring them out you can also extend them like a dodge you know 25 more horsepower um they have spotlights underneath too so that's what this button is. Obviously, it's pretty bright out right now, but yeah. So there's spotlights on the side of the mirrors and you can turn that on there. Um, she got a couple kilometers on her. Toured down the States yesterday. This is lane keep. So if you have cruise control on, it will stay in the lane. And then the parallel park assist. So it will actually park itself and it's a really cool option. I am a really good parallel parker and this thing literally perfect park every time. It's insane. And I just love doing it because it's a cool feature. The only spot, I hate that this is actually there because my last truck, a drink spilled and both of these buttons actually got stuck down. So I think they need to obviously, you know, put it up here. Um, so yeah, but it's a really cool feature for sure. And then they have the backup assist for backing up trailers. I've never actually hooked it up. It was on my old truck too. I'm, I'd rather just back up a trailer like a normal human being. I've been doing it for years. So it's not that hard guys. Um, the automatic engine shut off, you know, when you put the brakes on, I, I just let it do its thing. Um, everything else pretty similar. You got your heated and cool seats, all your climate controls, media. There's a subwoofer in here right there. Sounds super nice. Um, she's got a sliding rear window. Pretty standard. And yeah, glove box, nothing fancy in there. If, if your passenger wants to do shots on a road trip, you can line them all up there. Brad likes shoving all this shit in there. That's Brad's favorite spot. Um, your trailer brakes. I like this because um, obviously you can get it aftermarket too, but if someone is uh, tailgating you, I just press that and it, it puts the brake lights on, even if you don't have a trailer on. So that's a pretty cool feature. Uh, what else? Yeah, she's got the electronic uh, parking brake. I use it sometimes, you know, when I'm doing the, um, the uh, loading cars on and off. Um, the, they're all HID headlights now, or whatever you call them, LED HID, super bright and blue. And they finally changed the, fog lights to the HIDs as well. Well, the same, my truck last time was the same, but the black truck I had before it, they are still yellow, so I had blue headlights and yellow fog lights that looked dumb. Um, automatic dimming mirror, if someone's behind you and that one dims. That one does not for some reason. Well, it might, I don't know. My old truck it didn't, but hopefully this one does. So it's nice if someone's got their eyes on. 
just dims her down a bit. So take her for a little spin here. It's nice with the heated steer wheel. It's a little chilly out today. It's one degree, as you can see in here in Canada. We'll play with the um, cameras real quick. So if you throw it in reverse, that's your backup camera, your 360 camera. It works pretty well. Let me, let me see if I can back up to the garden here. See if I can smash into the house or something. So yeah, you can see the garden. It's really cool technology they used to do that. And then you can click this camera button and it shows just the backup, uh, like wide angle backup, and then back to normal. And then if you put it in drive and press it, it goes to the front camera and 360. So it only works to, I think about 10 kilometers an hour and then it goes back to normal again. But yeah, so it's nice for if you're parking and you wanna get super close to a wall or a post or you can't see the post, you just press that one. So she works good. Or if you just wanna drive into the trees, it works too, so um, yeah. This thing is fast. You can click here for all your modes. You can go through them. I like to throw it on eco mode. I don't know if it really helps. The gate is being funky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the gate doesn't want to let me through. It got struck by lightning in the fall and we got it fixed and now it's just, it's corrupt, it's broken. So, um, I like to throw this thing on sport mode once in a while. I guess I should put my seatbelt on it. Eh? All right, we are in sport mode. Obviously it's not broken in yet. I think it breaks in around 15,000 K. So, and then your fuel mileage gets a little better, but she definitely hauls quick. And then shows you your turbo gauge right there. <laughs> Obviously that works well when you're pulling trailers. So, but yeah, when you put it in sport, it just, it, uh, changes gears a little later so I just keep an eco let her fly other people do that on there probably can do it so yeah overall she's a pretty good truck I love it that's why I just got the fresh one and didn't change anything because why fix what's not broken Definitely a nice little rig. Glad I got a freshie. It was time. The other one was starting to have issues. And everyone's always like, get a Raptor, get a Super Duty. I don't need a Raptor. Like, if I get one, then everyone's gonna be like, off road it. And it's like, why would it? I don't even, yeah, like uh, 2020 Raptor for like 90 grand. And then, you know, what do you want me to jump the damn thing? I got the Maverick for that. I do a lot of driving on the highway. So that's why I just stick with this thing. I'm undercover. No one notices me. If I was driving a Raptor, the thing is sticking like sore thumb, man. Super duty, after driving this thing, fuck that. Oh my God. Um, plus, like, I don't pull anything. Anyway, I pull like a car trailer, which this thing pulls fine. Like, I've towed a F-350 on the car trailer with this thing. And we're good. So anyways, thank you guys for watching the video. Get excited after this. It's gonna be hopefully Arkansas videos. I'm still waiting to get a confirmation tomorrow. So I'm gonna start packing now, get things figured out, get everything ready to go. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully we do this. So have a fantastic week, fantastic weekend. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Buy a platinum. <laughs> we'll see you guys later.